Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've been posting about the Windows 11 24H2 feature update that's rolling out later this year, which is this year's annual feature update for the OS that, um, according to Microsoft, um, version 24H2 will not run on some older CPUs that are over 15 years old. And um, this, according to Microsoft, um, is if the CPU does not support pop CNT, which stands for population count, Windows 11 version 24H2 will not boot. So it's mainly affecting those older legacy CPUs that are 15 years and older. And this is because um, it's due to the pop CNT and SSE 4.2 based instruction, which Microsoft is now making mandatory as part of the Windows 11 version 24H2 annual feature update. And if those instructions are not found, your PC will not boot. Now, I'll leave one or two videos down below if you would be interested because this is quite a hot topic at the moment. And if you want to play catch up, then go check those videos out. Now, just to let you know and also to answer one or two comments on the channel that there have been other issues um, that this Pop CNT SSE 4.2 based instruction has been causing where it's mainly affecting Windows 10 because it goes without reason that most Windows 10 hardware will be older than Windows 11 in most cases. And apparently um, when you are launching Microsoft Store apps like Photos or um, Movies and TV Feedback Hub Calculator, just to mention some examples, um, there's a file system error that is displayed and the error is listed as 214-7219196 when launching those Microsoft Store apps. And apparently this problem with that error, and obviously you can't run the app, so it's been causing a bit of headaches for quite some time. And this problem has been linked to an issue in the Visual C libraries version 17.8.0, which is the older framework package that um, a lot of these Microsoft Store apps, like Photos as an example, um, need to be able to run as part of their, um, their dependency in the Microsoft Store. Now, apparently, um, it's affecting mainly legacy um, uh, devices that do not support SSE 4.2 instructions. So that's what's causing that error, 214721916. So that's to answer that question. Now, the good news is, is that Microsoft does have a fix, and it's with the latest Visual Studio 2022 version, 17.9.1 which apparently comes with a fix for the Pop CNT bug that um, was affecting those Microsoft Store apps, mainly the Photos app amongst others. And here we can see, um, if we click on this link, uh, it takes us to the three fixes that have rolled out with this latest version, 17.9.1. And here's the important fix. It says, fixed a bug where this .lib file used when static linking could contain an SSE 4.2 instruction that was illegal on older 64 systems so there we go the issue has been resolved so basically what you have to do if you have uh, been experiencing this issue mainly on windows 10 where your microsoft store apps are not launching with this error as mentioned 214721916 is you need to head to this website which i'll leave a link to in the description and here you'll see if we go to the top and you just scroll down a bit yeah you'll see the download links and i found that this will be the majority uh, download community download community 2022 the majority of users will click on this link you click on that you download uh, that Vig visual studio setup to your drive you double click on it you run it you follow the steps and you install it and according to microsoft and the fix that has rolled out um listed here it will address that issue where that error is generated um, when running some of those Microsoft Store apps on older systems. And basically, at the end of the day, what this means is now when you update to the Visual Studio 2022 version 17.9.1, it means now you should stop getting and you can be able to run your apps without that file system error. But just a side note here, don't get this confused with uh, the um, the population count pop cnt issue that's affecting those older 15 year old cpus and processors it's not going to fix that issue it's only going to fix the issue according to microsoft that is affecting the microsoft store app so um you still won't be able to install windows 11 24 h2 on unsupported cpu so just take that 
uh, into consideration. So I just wanted to put it out there because uh, this has generated a little bit of interest and I have seen one or two comments. So I just wanted to clear up any confusion if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.